call for a world government and destruction of all independent freedom, which you have in the Holy Alliance with Metternich in the early 1800s, formulating a plan to take control of this country. We now have Roman Catholics ruling the United States for the benefit of the Pope's New World Order. He is their boss. That's why they invited him here. Why do you think they spent, what, $450 million protecting their boss? So you don't think there's multiple heads, though? There's multiple evil people in this country doing multiple different things? You think the Pope is the centerfold of all of it? All right, I'm going to say this. I'm going to be succinct about it. The Pope is the top, the very top. He is the Antichrist. All these guys are working for Satan's system, which is centered in Rome. It's in the Bible, in Revelation chapter 17, in the King James Bible. It's the woman that sits on seven hills, and this great city rules over the kings of the earth. Well, what religion are all the kings? What religion is Joseph Biden, uh, John uh, Roberts, who okayed the, the uh, uh, Obamacare? He's a Roman Catholic Knight of Malta, inducted in, on the island of Malta three days after he passed the Obamacare. Six of the nine Supreme Court justices are high-level Roman Catholics, and the, and the majority of the ones who voted for the same-sex marriage out of five are Roman Catholics, Jan Napolitano, well, hey, Panetta. It is, it, is pretty very, it is very weird that the Pope is being worshipped in the United States. I'll give you that. You know, I don't know about the Antichrist and all that kind of stuff, but I will say it is bizarre and damaging that the Pope is being worshipped and presented to Congress as some sort of angelic, amazing creature. Thank you for your call. Let's go to Joshua in Florida. What's on your mind, Joshua? Hey, how's it going, guys? It's I just wanted excellent. to add in. Um, I just want to add in from before that it's more of like um, a balance between uh, material life and doing your job, and then spiritual life and being a human. And that's where the globalists have lost their way, you know. So I just wanted to add that in from before what you guys were talking well, about. That's what we all have the responsibility on our own. We don't need other people mm -hmm. to help show us the way. We all have to take that responsibility for ourselves to, you know, yeah, break out of that honest. robotic trance. <laughs> it's difficult to do, but it's it's actually just as easy as making a decision. I think you hit the nail on the head. I think all of us have a moral responsibility. And the problem is we get too caught up in our nine to five jobs, to either A, seek information and, you know, so-called wake up and figure things out, or B, actually do anything about it. Because by the time we get home, and I've been there, I know how it feels, working a long time, 10 to 12 hours a day, and you get home and you're tired, and you don't want to think about anything, you don't want to do anything. You might even put on the idiot tube and watch CNN media, which we talked about earlier, is basically the equivalent nutritionally as eating an entire jar of cheese Whiz <laughs> as every single meal that you have. So what happens is you get tired, you get exhausted, you get sick, you get dumbed down, you get into this shell, and you become a shell of what you could be. Right. And it's only by deciding at a deep conscious level, spiritual level, mental level, whatever you want to believe, that you're going to do something about it and actually fight and actually help people that you kind of awaken from that dreamlike state that I know that we've all been put in at one point or another. Excellent, insightful call. Thank you. Let's talk to Fred in Tennessee. How's it going, Fred? Ted. Ted. It's going pretty good. It's Ted. Um well, I was, I was calling about the decline of America. Um, there is a decline. And you was talking about uh, whose fault it was. I, I hate to say it, but it is our fault. The the fault is, you know, we, we've turned away from God, and that's what this country was founded upon, you know? So we've turned away from the very thing we was founded on, and well, evil's crept in, and, and our country is falling apart because of that. All the things that we have here is made in China. I mean, we we don't hardly make nothing anymore. And if we if we do make anything, uh, the parts come from across the water. You know, I mean, yeah, our country is falling apart, and it is our fault. And the only way we can fix it is get back to well, get back to God. We have become such a decadent country and relied on the comforts that we experienced and turned away from all forms of righteousness in every one of its categories. And, you know, we've all done that in some, some extent in our lives. But as a, a nation, 
we have just become consumed by consumerism and we have just fallen into the depths, the total, total depths of just getting rid of all production and everything like that. Leanne and Kit, what do you guys have to say about that? Have we not just fallen in such a way? I mean, there's a reason that, that what Trump says and, and other people resonates really, really well. And 72% agree that America is not. We're not a nation of builders anymore. I mean, basically, our manufacturing is overseas. We're basically buying, we're using our Federal Reserve funny money to buy TVs and foreign cars and whatnot. While whereas, you know, Asian countries are, they got all the products they're building themselves. They actually got the real assets. We don't have anything. We have money came out of nothing. Right. And also it's like this, uh, there's two ways you can fight the government or fight tyrants in power. One way is you can go up against the state. The other way is you can live your life as freely as possible, as feasibly as possible, like homesteading, raising your children, uh, homeschooling them, so on and so forth. A lot of people don't realize that anymore. Yeah, just turning off the boob tube, uh, you know, setting down your, take five minutes a day to just sit in silence and just visualize the day you would like to have, the life you would like to have, rather than turning on the TV and letting the TV tell you what your life should look like or what other people's Instagram posts tell you what your life should look like. Sit and find your quiet space within yourself to visualize what the life you want to lead and I mean, it's as easy as that, five yeah, minutes a day. I mean, the government, there are tyrants in the government, but there's also tyrants in your own minds. It's just like Thomas right. Jefferson said, you have to remove, excrete the tyrants within you that prevents you doing from what you want to do in life. Oh, absolutely. And I yeah. think at the same time, to focus on what the caller and what you guys are saying, we also have to look at the idols of this nation. Mm -hmm. What are they producing? Because if you think about the 40s and 50s and 30s and stuff, the idols, the heroes, not even idols at that point, more so heroes, I would like to say, um, those were people that created something and stood for something, or even as, as, as John Wayne or anything like that. They, they actually, hey, you know, they're strong men, they lead, they, they take care of their family. Our idols are Kim Kardashian, mm -hmm. uh, Taylor Swift, who's not as bad as Kim Kardashian, uh, Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah. Right. So those are those are our idols as a nation. If Justin if, Bieber, if Justin Bieber, <laughs> if so, Kanye West, Jay Z, uh, you know, writing songs about beating women and ruining <laughs> them. But that's politically correct. That's politically correct. But it's those evil evil rednecks that do things. It's that are, interesting you mention right. all those names because those are all the celebrities that are pushed by the establishment that they want us to worship. Oh, of right. course, of course. But well, but they don't produce you, anything. Mm -hmm. no. I, I mean, hey, at least Jay Z makes music. But what does Kim Kardashian do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But you also notice on Instagram, everyone that's super hot doesn't do anything. They have five million, twenty million followers. They don't do. They don't produce anything. So why would you produce anything? Anything. They produce right. selfies. Exactly. The, the number one uh, volume of production in the United States is selfies. If we could export <laughs> selfies instead <laughs> yes. of actual um, resources, we'd be in the clear. All right, let's keep uh, going through these calls. But the, the key concept is clear. We're not producing anymore. We, we, we aren't making anything. And we've been saying that for a long time. But at a, a fundamental level, even an individual level, we've lost our passion. We've lost our zest for life. Hey. We're sitting here accumulating dust and accumulating bed bugs and just waiting to do something, rolling around, collecting unemployment as a country, as an embodiment of a human being that is the United States of America. And then saying, what the heck? <laughs> you know, yeah. we, we want more stuff. Right, we well, want more stuff. What is that American spirit? Find it in yourself. Absolutely. Well, let's let's add a little beauty to this discussion because Denise wants to talk. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought she wanted to talk about Hillary Clinton. We're actually, <laughs> I wanted to talk about that. Instead, we're going to talk about internet censorship with Anonymous in Texas. Anonymous, tell us about some internet censorship. Hey, uh, Anthony. Uh, actually, I sent you guys a ship, uh, link at Show Tips. Uh, it was a couple nights ago. You know that article uh, from the NSA, or well, on the NSA about... Uh, the NSA hiring trolls to uh, discredit uh, factual information. Yes. That night I was trying, I actually discovered a troll and I tried to post that article in the comments. And just like what, uh, I can't remember who it was that said his article disappeared. Kid Daniels, yeah. Kid Daniels. It, it just, the applet comes up, you post the, the you, you paste the link. And as soon as the applet disappears, the article disappears as well. They, they are censoring stuff. Well, you know, Things that are important that would, that would cripple them, they're censoring it. They got to control information. Well, you know, when I when I post an article, I, I I am I can give direct evidence of paid trolls. And it's like the Monsanto employee that said, I don't know if you guys remember, he said, yeah, we have paid trolls. And he said it in some public forum. They didn't realize they were filming or whatever. So 
when I post an article on a few different subjects, let's say it's about Monsanto or something like that, within, I'd say, 45 seconds of the post, because they have the RSS feeds, which is what indicates on your browser when an article is posted. So they probably have InfoWars and everywhere else. And they have these RSS feeds, and they'll click them, constantly refresh them and see, oh, a new post came up. Better spam it. And within, I'd say, 45 seconds, 60 seconds, literally, I'll have an, a post pasted like, this is obvious fear mongering. None of this is true. This is scientifically inaccurate. I've already reviewed the studies. Like something that no one could have typed in that 45 quickly. seconds. Right. And also the same stuff every single time. And they have similar names and stuff. Or they'll put doctor in front of their name. And then they'll come back in like two minutes and concur. Be like, I concur, doctor. This is wrong. And they'll, <laughs> they'll just be it's the same person talking to themselves. And we can look at the IPs, which we have it's, done. It's, yeah. it's the same IP like 17 times. And it's the same IP under different names over and over again. So we do know that the trolls are, in fact, real. Anyway, you're listening to The Alex Jones. This is the fourth hour of Overdrive. I'm Anthony Gucciardi, your host. Coming up, Darren McBrain is going to talk about what's coming on later tonight in the nightly news. And we're going to cover some more news. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the fourth Overdrive hour of The Alex Jones Show. I'm your host, Anthony Gucciardi. And we've got Darren McBreen telling us the latest breaking stuff on the Pope and what he's going to cover tonight on the Nightly News. And we have Leanne McAdoo sitting in for the remainder of the show. Now, it's thanks to your support that the show even exists and that its reach is now expanded to 400 plus million as Alex has recently launched a satellite into orbit that will be broadcasting the Alex Jones Show and the Nightly News nationwide, worldwide, 400 plus million reach that otherwise would have not gotten this information. And it's through your support of InfoWarsLife.com that it's all made possible. Right now to say thanks, Brain Force and DNA Force are both 20% off each and Child Ease is back in stock. Here is a review on DNA Force, which is probably the most high-powered product by InforceLife.com. It has BioPQQ in it, which has more antioxidant activity than vitamin C and is backed by 175 different clinical studies. You can look them up. BioPQQ, just one kilo of BioPQQ and some other compounds in it equates to up to $40,000. That's what it costs to make this product. It's a huge time investment, money investment. The chemists have to come in. It's a lot of money that Alex pays and stores in his warehouse and hopes that you will like it and knows that you will like it. So check out DNA Force at InfoWarsLife.com. And here is one of the reviews from Bullet from Independence. He says, been using this DNA Force over a month. It's amazing stuff. I have six bottles right now and will keep my supplies stocked up. I do not want to run out. I love the energy. I feel the strength. May the force be with you. Thanks, Alex and the InfoWars team. Love you, Patriots. A job well done. Well, thank you, Bullet. And Elijah, the healthcare assistant, says DNA Forest has been a dream come true. I was skeptical at first, but when I tried it, I became a believer. Thank you. Thank you. So check out DNA Forest at InfoWarsLife.com and try it out for yourself. 20% off throughout this week. Aaron, tell us about what's coming up on the InfoWars nightly news that you will be hosting. Well, she's become an international media sensation. I'm going to be talking about little Sophia Cruz. And of course, this is the Pope girl. And I, let me tell you something. I was just in the break room before I came in here and you cannot get away from her right now. She's on CNN. She's on Fox. Uh, she's on MSNBC. She's all over the internet and she really truly has become an international sensation. Well, tell people what happened. What's the Pope girl? Well, it's it's a propaganda tool that they're using to promote illegal immigration. Of course, this is uh, the little girl who rushed out to the uh, Pope Mobile yesterday in Washington, D.C. Somehow magically got through the barricades, was escorted by police. Secret Service went up to the Pope, handed her a pro-immigrant uh, immigration uh, T-shirt and a note pleading with the Pope to allow her parents uh, to stay here in the United States. So this is a whole anchor baby power. thing. He and has the power. He's I guess, got to the make power. So yeah, we're going to break that down. Kit Daniels <laughs> is going to join me, and this is a huge psyop on the American people to get us to support illegal immigration. This tsunami, this flood of illegal immigrants that are coming into the country right now. And I'm also going to take a look at how this is done in the past, how the mainstream media in the past has been known for basically conning into uh, conning us into believing uh, things that are not true. So we'll look at Kuwaiti okay. girl, 15 year old girl from Kuwait, and there are plenty of examples. So that's all coming up tonight. Tell everyone how to check out the Nightly News tonight. Well, you go to PrisonPlanet.tv, and we're on at seven o'clock p.m. Central Time. Uh, Prison Planet TV. You can also, uh, we're on YouTube the next day, on the Alex Jones uh, YouTube channel, and uh, that's how you do it.
Excellent. We'll definitely check out the InfoWars nightly news tonight. And thank